Okay, well, I said I would do a video on this, and well, I pretty much meant it. I guess I'm doing all these videos back to back to back to back. Well, <clears throat> it's about Planet X or whatnot. I'm going to say that, in my opinion, there's nothing there. The only thing that I get when I look up at the sun are little black dots in front of my eyes from staring at it for less than 10 seconds. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, when you put your hand, I mean, not your hand, but when you look up at the sun, okay, you're going to get black spots in front of your eyes. I can't look at the sun for more than, uh, oh, that light on again. Uh, for more than about like a couple of seconds before, ow, ow, I mean, my eyes are, when I stare at the sun, I have literally black spots in front of my eyes. So all these people that hide or put a camera up there and, oh look, there's a dot right next to the sun. Hmm. Well, honestly... I can tell you right now that there isn't. Okay. There is no nothing next to the sun. And if you're able to hold a camera up to the sun. Um, that's kind of hard to do. Considering that you know you must have sunglasses on or something. In order to be able to look at the sun. Hang on. Okay. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I just left off where if you hold a camera up there, you have to have sunglasses on. Yeah. Uh, I will have to say... Hang on one sec. You're righteous. Um, I do have to say that, you know, whoever can actually put something up to the sun and see it, yeah, I'm sure, I'm not trying to, I'm just, I'm just trying not to be as rude or sarcastic as I can about this, it's just, the fact of the matter is, there's nothing there, we're not going to get hit by any object, and tell you what, all those people are doing, are just creating fear, and wanting you to probably buy into certain things. Hey, you know, this is what you can do for, to prepare for this thing. This is this, this is that. Honestly, just understand there's nothing there. I mean, the likelihood of anything being there is slim to none. Um... You probably be thinking, oh, he's just a person that goes to church all the time and he doesn't believe in that kind of thing. It could happen. Well, honestly, you know, that's that's not the case. One, I don't go to church. I don't. I am not going into that story. That would be probably for a day, months down the road, why I don't go. But honestly, I try to better myself about things. But getting back to this other subject about Nibiru or Planet X, it's just it's just something that exists there in your mind. Okay, Planet X is not real, or if it is real, it's a long way away from us. The odds of it hitting us slim to none. Right back. Okay, I think I may upset my girlfriend. Hang on. Okay, well, back on what I was saying. I don't, you know, if there is a planet X or so that is heading towards the planet, there's not very much that we can do about it. You're talking 
about trying to stop a planet that's what the size of Jupiter now that's the latest reports it's like three times larger than Jupiter when originally it was the size of a uh, size of our moon it was going to slam into earth now they've increased it over the years from 2009 to now they've increased it dramatically goes from something like like this to something like about like this it's it's so hard to you know try to understand why people do that but it's it's all right I mean if if certain people want to believe that then go for it it's your decision hang on okay I'm back the next report that's going to probably come out is the object is going to be the size of our sun next right no it couldn't be because nemesis is our how do scientists say it our evil twin brother or sister I don't know something like that so yeah we should not see nemesis for quite a long time nemesis comes around once every 20 million years um, plus everybody needs to realize this how long does it take for our solar system to go around the galactic center or pretty much make one loop around our solar system or not solar system around our galaxy and I'm definitely tired that proves it right there um, normally when it comes to space I'm pretty good at that plus I will be talking like later about what I believe about different things in space some people when they hear this are going to be like huh well um yeah no one looks people you don't need to worry about planet x crashing into earth okay i, I want to put it just like this if the reports are true and planet x is three times larger than uh, Jupiter is that's how much they dialed it up to now if it is truly that big you can fit now it was 40 Earths now it's 350 Earths into Jupiter okay if you can put 350 Earths into Jupiter and this thing is okay 350 and 350 that's 700 1050 okay if you can put 1050 Earths into this object that's three times Jupiter if this object even touched Earth it would, dis it would disappear and do you really think that God or Jesus is going to allow that to happen he's not so honestly you know all this talk about planet X and all this destruction on earth it's just it's just that it's just talk okay that's that's not gonna happen and if it does happen I would like to see where it's written in the Bible saying it's gonna happen only after a certain time would that probably even happen hang on a sec okay We'll admit, getting tired now. Oh. Okay. Um, yes. Uh, I was talking about uh, God not allowing that, eh, not allowing that to happen. Okay. Literally, everybody out there needs to understand Earth was created by God. Okay and you know it's not going anywhere everybody needs to stop worrying about planet x it's like i had in my last video relax calm down it's not gonna happen
Okay. Hmm. <laughs> no comment. Hang on, I just gotta reply to something. Okay, so I think this will probably be a continuation of my last video where I told everybody to calm down about, um, about, uh, the Bible thing. But, um, the same thing with this. There's nothing for you to worry about, okay? Nothing at all. Planet X is not going to crash into Earth. And if it did, it w the planet wouldn't even be here any longer. I mean, something was 1,050 times larger than Earth smashing into it. I mean, if you don't have a universal sandbox, uh, I suggest that you get that. Blow Jupiter up to 1,050 times larger than Earth and have them collide together. And, well, you, you can guess what the end result and consequences would be. So, um, don't worry, calm down, you don't need to worry at all, enjoy your, uh, enjoy the video, sorry I interrupted so much time, but, you know, I have a personal life too, so, take what I said to heart, you don't need to worry, they're just doing it to cast fear into your body. You don't need to worry about something that big. It's not going to touch us. It's going to totally miss us. If it's out there, which it isn't. At least not that I can see. God bless. Good night. Or good morning.